gosh, it was just saw uh, Jake the Snake was on on both of the shows, and Jake, uh, I had a chance to. That was my first chance to get to talk to Jake the Snake, in, in quite a while, funny funny story was, um, I guess, you know, the the promoter Michael Lombardi. You think Jake the Snake, and you know that uh, he needs to. The the fans expect to see Jake yeah. with. Uh, and with the big snake, right? Right. And so uh, I guess Michael knows that uh, Mike, Mike Lombardi knows that, that Jake no longer uh, owns the snake. So he rented one. He found somebody that had a big, big old boa constrictor. And, and, and so he, he, he got in touch with them and had them bring the bring the snake to the event so that Jake could take it out to the ring with him. And <laughs> I didn't, of course, I didn't realize this either, but uh, uh, apparently Jake, the snake, doesn't do snakes anymore. So he just <laughs> said, I, I don't want to be anywhere around a snake anymore. He said, I've had enough of that. Apparently, uh, and I didn't, I didn't know this, but he said uh, he's been bitten several times over the years by the different snakes that he would uh, use to take. And I thought, I thought you always used uh uh, you know, like the, the big boa constrictors. I didn't know they bite. He said, oh, hell yeah, they bite. And he said, I've been bitten enough times. I don't have anything to do with snakes. So he, he wouldn't even take the snake with him out to, out to the ring. And, and uh, after the stories that he told, I don't blame him. But anyway, yeah, Jake the Snake was on both the shows. And uh, 